friends, I know very well that God wanted his dead ones to be buried. For example, Abraham knew God and God talked to him like a friend. If anyone knew the right way of doing things, it must be Abraham. When he was dwelling among the Canaanites, his wife Sarah passed away. Abraham, though rich, was a tent dweller. It would have been much easier for him to cremate Sarah's body and dispose of the ashes in a brook or something. However, when Sarah died, he made it a point to purchase a plot of land at a place called Macphila as a burial place for his entire family. This structure is still standing today in Israel. And again, the Bible states that God himself buried the body of Moses on top of Mount Nebo. Then, even in Africa, where the sons of Ham had turned against Yahweh, people still buried their dead. While they embalmed kings, they kept every bit of flesh that was removed from the body in jars because they also believed in the resurrection of the body. In light of all this, I wondered whoever started cremating their dead ones. In fact, I have reasons to believe that cremating a body could have eternal consequences because the Bible states that God can destroy both body and soul in hellfire. Furthermore, the Bible also states that when God eventually destroys Lucifer, he would cause a fire from within his body to turn him into ashes. So fire seemed to have some profound effects, friends. Now, there are some Hindu leaders claiming that burying the body encourages ghost activities in order to smear Christian and Muslim practices. However, even in their communities, ghost activities are not uncommon. As a result, I know the precautions they take when they cremate their dead in order to avoid the ghosts of the dead. Do you see a chicken hanging from the frame in which they carry the deceased? That is a sacrifice to the deceased spirit not to come back and torment the living. Now, who do we think in human history that started cremating their dead ones? I think it could have begun as a matter of convenience in the colder northern regions of the Japhetic people who had drifted away from the original faith of Noah. However, in the same regions in latter times when they started practicing Christianity, they maintained a small chamber called the receiving vault in their cemeteries. The bodies of people who died in the peak of winter were kept there till the spring arrived. The land thawed and people were able to dig a hole in the ground for the burial. This is where the old-fashioned slang, burying the stiff, came from. However, in India, where the weather is warm and it is easy to dig a hole in the ground, Hindus still cremate their dead ones. So, what is the story here? Well, the founder of India was Biblical Shem, who worshipped Yahweh in the form of Narayana, and he knew the ways of God. However, even prior to his arrival in India, there were some Japhetic people known as Purus living in India. They had come from the Siberian region where one cannot dig graves in winter, like I said before. Furthermore, they were people on the move and they were not following Yahweh God anymore. In fact, after the death of Shem, they were the ones who started ruling ancient India under the name Kurus. It is during their reign the Mahabharata war occurred and we read that Thousands upon thousands of fallen soldiers had to be cremated during that war. So, I would say that these Japhetic people who called themselves Kurus in India must have introduced the practice of cremation to the people of India. Thanks for watching.